Remember this program from a previous lesson? Let's run this program. Remember the robot approaches the oil spill and then moves around it. It does so by turning back into the oil spill when it doesn't see it or feel it and turning away from the oil spill when it does feel it. What we want to do is to make the real robot perform like this program. Of course, the first thing we have to do is add an rcom port command with 24 to make it automatically start sending commands out over the Bluetooth communication port. We also have to tell the robot to initialize the line sensors underneath the robot. Now this may happen automatically as soon as you turn on the CSTEM robot. It depends on which firmware they're using. In my case, I have to have the R command and the actual command is 113 which is a command to the line sensors a 1 tells them to initialize. And I will also need to delay by about 4 seconds so that I have time to move the robot away from the oil spill and let it find it by itself after it is initialized. Let's run this and see what happens. The robot turns and calibrates its line sensors. Move the robot away let it approach and find the oil spill. Notice as it tries to move around it, it works exactly like the simulator, rotating on its axis. But this rotation in the real world gives this jerky approach. We can improve on this several ways. Now you saw the behavior. The robot is constantly turning just like the simulator, which rotates on its base by turning one wheel forward and one wheel backwards when it makes a turn. We have another R command that allows the robot to have different turn styles. This command is 118. When we give it a number here, in this case 6, this controls the relative speed of the slow wheel. We're making left turns, so this would say that the left wheel would make it 60% the speed. If we had an 8 here, it would go 80% of the speed. A 1 would be 10% of the speed. The possible numbers that you may use here are 1 to 8. Let's see how it works with 6. Now when the robot approaches the oil spill, it turns at a much slower rate taking it outside of the oil. This may be exactly what we want, but it's not behaving the way the simulator program did. Notice though, it does move much smoother. As you saw, the robot is moving very slowly when it makes its turns, lets it get outside. Let's go to the other extreme and put in a one here run the program again. Now the robot hugs the oil spill just like in the simulation. It is a little bit wobbly though, so maybe we can improve on this by having it turn just a little bit slower than it is now. Alright, let's try to correct that problem with something in the middle. It turns out that 3 does work for nearly all situations. Let's try it though. Turnstile 3 works very nicely. Notice the robot makes quick turns, but not too quick. It moves right along the edge very smoothly. Being able to adjust the turn style of our robot is a very powerful idea. We just take the R command and change that number from 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever we wish to make the robot move smoother 
based on its current environment. When you become a more advanced programmer, there are even ways to make the robot intelligent enough to make those decisions on, our, on its own and have it change its turnstiles all by itself. For now though, your assignment is to get your real robot moving around an oil spill that you make and change the turnstiles to find out what works best for you. This concludes the CSTEM training. If you need these videos in the future, either for you or perhaps for your students, you can find them on YouTube. Just search the YouTube site for CSTEM Robot Basic and they should come up for you. I hope you enjoyed the training and I hope you enjoy using Robot Basic.